I think I may have found the best universal traveling shoe ever. So when we travel, we face rain and sleet and snow and hail and mud. The conditions around the world are sometimes very random. We cannot predict them and it's important to be prepared for everything. And when we face these situations full of rain and mud and snow, it kind of destroys our travel. It makes travel more difficult and a bit frustrating. So what if I told you there was a company who did make a shoe that is universal for almost every condition you can think of? Sounds far-fetched, right? Well, my friends, the future is here, and today I want to show you this shoe. So if you click on the link in the description below, you can see the shoe and you can actually follow along. So just a few years ago, a company called Vessi started, and they started with a goal to basically develop a shoe that could be universal in almost any weather condition. And this is amazing because as someone who travels full-time constantly, this sounds like a dream come true. They wanted to create a shoe that could be worn in muddy conditions, snowy conditions, excessive heat, and also rain. So I put these shoes to the test and I walked more than 100 kilometers in them, and today I want to give you my honest review. Now the shoe is called the Stormburst. This thing right here has everything that you would want in a travel shoe. Today we're going to talk about the claims that the company makes about the shoe. Comfort, grip, durability, odor, washability, style, my favorite features about the shoe, and also some tips at the end. So let's start with some of the company claims. They first claim that they are a waterproof shoe. Now this just sounds a little bit hyped up, to be honest, until I tried them. I went walking on a rainy day on the streets of the country of Georgia. Let me show you what happened. I'm out on a rainy day. It is nine degrees Celsius outside, full of rain, and my only goal for the next couple of minutes is to find as much water as possible. All right, the moment of truth. Let's take off my shoe. Oh, wow. Interesting. So, basically everything here is dry. It does feel a little bit moist back here, the rainwater. It was raining sideways for a long time and my umbrella didn't stop everything. My guess is that the water touched here or went down my leg and inside, and that is what caused it. But basically everything from here this way, it feels fine. It feels fine. And my feet are not cold at all. Uh, it feels good. So I'm in my bathroom and I want to show you how waterproof these shoes are. These are pretty impressive. So I got a piece of toilet paper and I'm just basically going to stuff it inside uh, so you can see when I remove it later, there's going to be no moisture. So there's no moisture right now and I'm just gonna keep it kind of right here. And all I'm going to do is turn on the water and as you can see, the water basically is repelled. It's instantly repelled and this is like a soft material. It's like a shirt, <laughs> but it still repels the water, which is very interesting. So the water is lukewarm right now. And so you'll notice that the water obviously is not going to go through this kind of plastic looking piece, but even here you would think that it would go through the mesh. The water is getting a little bit warm. I have the toilet paper basically right, right here touching this, no matter how much I push or try to rub the water into the shoe, the water still will not go through. And you can do this all the way around the shoe uh, just like this and you see the water just falls right off of it and what's helpful is when you're walking through mud or dirty water the same thing happens it just kind of repels this muddy water and I believe the the waterproofness goes all the way up even to the very top you can see the water is just about coming in up here but it's not it just repels everything is totally totally repelled and now I'm going to remove the the uh, toilet paper and you can see absolutely no piece of this toilet paper is wet whatsoever. It's uh, completely dry in every way. That's literally some impressive technology. Vessi also claims that their shoes are temperature regulating. So right now it's about nine degrees outside. 
I can see my breath. And as you can see, I tried to put my foot as deep as I could go. I found the deepest puddle that I could find. What's interesting is my feet feel incredibly warm. There's no cold parts on my feet right now. I've been walking in extremely cold water and I'm shocked that my feet are still dry and they're warm. If I was wearing my previous shoes in that temperature, even if my feet did not get wet, my feet would have been cold. But adding the rain on top of that, my feet would have been freezing. Bessie also claims that the shoes are stretchy and lightweight. I must say, these shoes are almost the same weight as my previous shoes. They're very light. The difference is minute. These are a little bit heavier, but the, the difference between the two are very small. They also claim to be stretchy. The Dymatex material is supposed to be stretchy, and, and, and it is. Basically, you can see it moves around quite a bit. I don't know how well you can see, but it, it definitely does move. Down here is less flexible, but it's still quite flexible. I mean, the whole shoe is a, it's a flexible shoe. It has this feeling of kind of moving around your foot, conforming. I think this particular shoe is a little bit bigger than some of their walking shoes that they have. And I think those would conform around your foot a little bit more. But this one, yeah, I must say it is quite comfortable. Bessie claims that they have the lightest waterproof shoe available. The storm bursts are generally universal. So you can kind of do anything, go to a rugged area, walk in the forest, walk on the street, go walking all day long. It's not specific to one thing. It kind of includes everything and it, it has worked for me in many situations. So is it waterproof? Yep. Is it light? Yep. Vessi also claims that the shoes are 100% vegan. Wait, what? Now basically what they're saying is they don't harm any animals in the creation of these shoes. They're not using skins from an animal or leather. And they also use adhesives that are environmentally friendly. They're not oil-based, they're usually water-based, which is apparently a very large difference than the majority of the name brand shoes that we all know of. So kudos to them for being environmentally friendly. And the last claim that Vessi makes is that they are Canadian. They're proudly Canadian, so that's cool. You're ordering shoes from a developed country that has rules and regulations in place to help protect you, the buyer. That's good to know. Now let's talk about some things that are important to me within a shoe, starting with number one, which is comfort. So again, I've walked in this shoe for more than 100 kilometers, and I would say that this shoe, it fits snug, it fits tight, it fits nice, but it's not too tight or anything, and I, I, I have no blisters on my feet whatsoever. I mean, zero. They are lightweight, just like Bessie says. I mean, they're not as light as my previous shoe, but the difference between the previous shoe and this one is so small that I would not consider this to be a heavy shoe. I mean, I actually had a pair of sandals that I bought many years ago before I went to Thailand, and my sandals were so heavy, I literally gave them to someone. I just left them at the hotel and said, please give them to someone, they're just too heavy. So when I'm walking, it does feel soft. They often use the word, it feels like you're walking on a cloud, and I don't know what I'm walking on a cloud feels like, but it is very comfortable when you take a step your foot kind of cushions down into something so it does it does feel nice so balance is important obviously this shoe is a little bit wider than my other shoe so when I when I take a step forward or backwards or if I go left or right there's nothing about the shoe that interrupts my balance I keep a fine balance and you know sometimes you have shoes where the tip of your shoe is too long or too awkward and you will like kind of trip every once in a while when you take a step, that hasn't happened either. And another comfort factor is being able to get your shoes on and off easily. I don't know about you, but what really annoys me is having to untie and retie your shoes. I know this is like simple shoe life where you have to, you just untie your shoes and retie your shoes. It just, I, I guess it just takes too long for me. <laughs> so I'm the guy who ties my shoes once and then slips them on and slips them off forever. It damages the back of my shoe. I don't care because I hate having to go through and retie everything. So the cool thing about these is I will still do the same thing. I will keep them tied once and then they have this cool little lip in the back and you just put your foot inside, you pull this and your foot slips right in without a problem whatsoever. And as long as you use this, it will help the longevity of your shoe. So you're not, you're not actually pulling on this material that would damage it. Pull here and you're good to go. Now let's talk about grip. The material on the bottom of the shoe is quite important. Obviously, if you have a shoe that has the wrong material, you're gonna slip and slide pretty much everywhere you go, especially if it's raining. So the cool thing is, is whatever material that they're using on the bottom, it works. So the grip of the shoe is pretty good. There was some slopes that I've gone down, like wheelchair slopes or ramps. And while they're wet, I was still actually going down them. My grip is totally fine. The only material that I found where the grip was not um, so good was walking on cobblestone when it was wet. I'm not joking. So maybe it's because there was less surface area touching the bottom of the shoe because the, the road was jagged, plus it was wet, I'm not sure. 
but I think as long as you're not playing basketball on cobblestone, I think you'll be fine. So how durable is this shoe? Well, this is gonna be hard to judge because I've used them for about 100 or more kilometers, but beyond that, I don't know. I must say, <laughs> It looks like I just pulled these things out of the box, but I didn't. I think because of the material and because it deflects so much water, there's not a lot of moisture damage that will happen to these things because it just, it, it doesn't allow moisture to get inside. And so because of that, I think it will last longer. Despite being in motion constantly and walking, there's really no damage to any of the Dymatex or anything like that. Inside, same thing, everything looks good. There's no changes or whatever. The threading is not coming apart. So I must say everything about this shoe is pretty darn good. I might make an update in the future to let you know what it's like after maybe 500 kilometers or something like that or a thousand, I have no idea. So look for that video in the future. So in terms of smell, I want to smell the inside of these shoes because my previous shoes, I have never had a problem with smelly feet in my entire life with any shoe that I've ever owned until I had the last pair. What was interesting, the shoes were like 220 US dollars for those shoes. And within the first day of wearing them and for the next several years, my feet would smell awful. Not just like a little bit of a different smell, I mean like something died inside my shoe. And so I went to the supermarket and I seen something that was like an odor protection sole for the inside of my shoe. So I bought it and I put it inside the smell went away instantly overnight. And I never had a problem after that in the expensive name brand shoe. These, what's interesting is when I smell them, it does not smell bad. It's like a mixture between a normal foot and still I have a lot of the new smell inside. And you've seen some of the places that I walked and walking for a while. And sometimes the day has been hot and my feet get warm inside. And so sure, your feet sweat a little bit. Despite that, it still smells, yeah. It's like 50% new shoe smell. It, it, it's a, it's, it's not a bad smell. So that terrible smell that I had is definitely not here like it was in my previous shoe. Washability. So what's interesting is like I've showed you before, this shoe looks pretty much brand new despite walking in the rain a lot and walking in mud a lot. It looks brand new. So as you can see, I got a little bit dirty and I wanna to test to see how easy or difficult it is to remove the mud from not only this part, but this area, though there's not very much mud that got here, which is interesting, but there's a little bit on the shoelace. We're gonna start with the shoelace because I think that's gonna be the most difficult. I'm using my finger. Oh, it just came right off. It's kind of difficult here. I'm gonna use my finger just because I wanna see if it's easy or not. And yeah, it comes like 85 or 90% of it. I'm not sure how much you can see, but there's a little bit remaining here, but it literally just, it just wipes away without any difficulty. But I assume the best way to do it would be to simply get a sponge or something gentle. Oh yeah, and it just literally comes right off, just like that. So I think cleaning will be quite easy, to be honest. Yes, it just literally comes right out. So that's good news. So if you wanna keep your shoes clean, I think two things. Number one, they won't get dirty to begin with. I mean, these are white shoes that I was walking through mud water, <laughs> cold mud water. It just repels almost everything and the stuff that does remain wipes away rather easily so that's good news if you like clean shoes in terms of washability i've had no problems all i need to do is just gently rinse it under water and it comes clean now vessi makes several different styles of shoes and what's interesting is the the style that they have this is a pretty nice shoe i enjoy the look this is the first time i've ever had a shoe with something like this generally i find shoes that are a little bit lower but i think it's cool it's unique i honestly think it's it's a sharp look. So in terms of the style, I have no problems with the style. I just basically don't want a shoe that looks like I'm still walking around in 1992. So being that this company is online, I was a little bit nervous with their return policy because imagine if you ordered a shoe and it's not the right size or you don't like the color or some problem. Well, the good news is they offer a 90 day return policy. So if you get the color and you're like, ah, that's not what I wanted or you thought you should have got this size, but turns out it doesn't fit the way that you want. Yeah, just ship it back and get a new pair. So that's pretty cool. Just don't wear the shoes and walk in them because if, if they have been used, I don't think they're going to accept them back. So just don't use them, but just slip your foot inside to see if it fits. I like the way that they kind of market to us or their website. Basically, when you read their website, they kind of have this joking way of being friendly when they talk on the website. They, they're very human when it comes to their, their marketing online. You're not like a drone or a number as a customer. They're, they they encourage you to go out and they encourage you to get dirty with your shoes. So I think that's kind of refreshing. And customer service is a big deal. I think we've all had the experience with a very big company. And if, if you have a problem, getting a response from them isn't very easy. But I must say, 
Vessi, when you reach out to the support staff, they respond rather quickly and they're very kind and very helpful. So what are my favorite things about this shoe? Well, as a traveler, I must say the waterproof thing is literally a game changer. I can't describe to you how awesome this is. So I've been traveling for many, many years constantly. And when there's a rainy day, you don't go outside because you're terrified that if your shoes get wet, what are you going to do? You're gonna be cold for the rest of the day. And not only that, your shoes will take one or two or three or four days to dry out. And you don't have that kind of time when you're traveling. So what do you do? You either option one, sit in your hotel for four days waiting for your shoes to dry, or option two, go out the next day and simply put your feet in these cold, wet shoes and just go throughout your day again. Both options are terrible. And so honestly, this shoe has eliminated one of the biggest struggles of me as a solo traveler, long-term solo traveler. I don't have to worry about my feet getting wet. My second favorite thing is going to be the temperature regulation. It's no joke. I walked around when it was really hot outside. I only needed a t-shirt to walk outside. And I also walked in the rain when it was nine degrees Celsius. Now my feet were nice in both. My feet did not get too hot when it was really hot outside, I was sweating, but my feet inside the shoe when it was super cold and going under cold water, my feet were still warm. I think that's quite interesting. So the material keeps your foot warm, but it also allows the excess heat inside the shoe to escape. So it's just a win-win situation. And my last favorite thing is probably the ease of cleaning. Because it's waterproof and it deflects moisture and water, including dirty water. So if it reflects the dirty water, then the dirty water doesn't really get into the shoe so therefore your shoe stays cleaner longer. It just makes it easier for me to keep my shoes clean. So here's a couple tips to make your shoes last longer. So if you do go out in the rain, you do go out and play, there's going to be moisture on the outside of the shoe, but not really on the inside. Or if your foot starts to sweat a little bit on the inside, then yeah, it's going to be a little bit moist on the inside just from natural sweat. The key to make the shoes last longer and to keep the adhesives good is to store your shoes in a, in a dry place. So when you come home, just keep it by a window or keep it by a door where there's a little bit of ventilation to help the shoe last longer. Now it's not gonna destroy your shoe on the first day if you don't do that. However, we're talking like months and months of the same activity. You want to just keep the inside a little bit dry from foot sweat. And to keep this material lasting longer, put your foot in the shoe by pulling on the tab, not right here. So that's a very convenient thing. Use it. And the last thing, if you live close to the sea, if you get seawater on your shoes, there's going to be salt. Salt can possibly erode the materials over time. So therefore, you need to wash it off when you get home. And this includes people who live in cold places and they use salt on the roads and you're walking on the road with salt. You should rinse off your shoe when you get home to prevent the salt from eroding some of the adhesives. So that's it. That's all the information I have for you. I must say I have fallen in love with Vessi, this shoe company. I believe that Vessi has created like the best travel shoe for people just like me. Making a shoe that is universal in hot temperatures temperatures, cold temperatures, rain or snow or mud. I mean, it's like a game changer for me. I cannot tell you how many times I've been caught in the rain, either stuck inside or had to go outside and my shoes are destroyed for the next three or four days. So this technology, this shoe is literally the best thing ever. So the good news is that Vessi has more interesting shoes than just this one. I encourage you to click the link below and go there and check them out and many other things. So in different colors, shoes for men, shoes for women, shoes for kids, boots, they really have quite a bit of selection. Anyway, that's all I have for you. Thank you all for watching this video to the very end. Remember, your time is running out. Start living, take care.